Okay, we have our second trailer behind us and things have escalated a little bit. The snow was sticking on the ground here in Winnipeg, just south of Winnipeg where our yard is. There was no snow on the ground that was sticking yet. It was mostly just rain still. But this is a true Manitoba day. This is what people think of when they hear the word Manitoba along with very cold weather. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how this goes. It's supposed to get much worse tonight and tomorrow. I hope it does in a way, like I want people to be safe out there, but I am kind of hoping that we get a, get a good snowfall, get it all over with on my day off, so that we can come back on Friday and just sort of clean things up, clear the snow and get to work. I don't mind snow at all. I just don't like it when it's in the, process of falling I like it once it's on the ground and off the highway then it's nice it's just about two o'clock now by the time I get there for my second pickup it'll be just after two o'clock Get out of there by three, get back to the yard by around four. It's probably gonna be all I'm doing today. And by that time it's gonna heat up or uh, huh, cool down, or whatever you wanna call it. The snow is gonna be heating up by then. You know what I mean. I'm excited, I really am. I like winter time. I don't exactly like those weeks in January and February where it's minus 30 or minus 50. I, I don't really like that, but. The snow itself doesn't bother me. We're going to the correct location this time, don't worry. <laughs> Wouldn't that be bad if we made the same mistake twice in a row? Yikes. You always wonder why are so many Canadian vehicles and Canadian trucks dirty? It's because of this, our weather. It's impossible to keep anything clean this time of year. From now until the end of April, it's gonna be hard to keep anything clean. And then you ask, well, why is it still dirty in the middle of August? I guess people get so tired of uh, trying to keep up with it that they just give up after a while. The climate is just different than it is in the southern states. It's hard, hard, hard to keep things clean. But the thing is, you have to keep washing the salt off. If you don't wash that salt off, it's going to eat into your frame, it's gonna eat into your truck and create a lot of rust. All right, I've got a blind sided in here, but I got a back window and a day cab, so that makes it possible. Let's do it. I did it before, I can do it again. It's just barely enough room. So hopefully no cars come. I'm gonna need this road here for the foreseeable future. Okay, oh, my back window's getting all dirty. At least I can still see through it, mostly. Should be very hard to do with a sleeper. You know what, I can make it tighter than that. I'm gonna try one more time, okay? Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one, all right? Don't be too hard on me now. I wanna get my trailer tires closer to that curb. Cut it a little sharper. I don't wanna hit this fire hydrant on this side here either. There we go, there we go. And cut it hard. I'm 
make it. You know what? No. Okay, everybody gets two. Everybody gets two. Now I've got pressure because I've got a pickup here coming. All right, he's going to have to wait a little bit. I did it in just one try before. But my back window is dirtier now. It's snowing. Come on, pick your excuse. I'll use whichever one you'll accept. Come on. Close to the curb now, Josh. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Right there, right there. There you go. Just kiss the curb. Just kiss the curb, just like that. Exactly. Tight. Okay, we made it in. Okay, now watch the fence here. As close as we can. Yikes. Oh boy, I did a better job before. Ah, oh man. Come on, Josh. Come on. It's not gonna work. Nope. Take two. All right, so I've got to sneak right in there. Not forward, don't want to hit this truck. Okay. Sneak it real close, real close to that fence post. Real close. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna start straightening her out. Watch the fence, watch the fence. Watch the fence. Watch the trailer. Watch the fence. Watch the trailer. Watch the fence, watch the trailer. Watch the trailer, watch the fence. Oh, I'm close. Very close. Okay, I think, I think we got it. Uh, I'm a little crooked, but I can straighten it out from here. We're in. Okay. There we go. I'll just sneak up here and kiss the fence a little bit. Okay. Watch the pole, watch the pole. Okay. Watch all the cars, watch for pedestrians, watch that pickup truck that's sticking way out further than all the other ones. Okay, I think I got it. Watch the pole there. Watch it, watch, ha, we did it. There we go. Not flawless, but uh, we got her in here. There we go. Well, that was fun. Back all the way up to the back. Straighten her out. There we go. Oh yeah, a, that guy's gonna make it look easy in a straight truck. Just watch the footage on the other camera of me backing in there. Mm, if I had to judge myself, I'd give it like mm, eight out of ten. I don't know what would you judge me? I didn't hit anything. Let's point that out. I didn't hit anything, and I got it in here. It did take 
a couple of tries. The, the first time I went in here, it only, only took two tries to line up properly. This time, admittedly, it took a, a, a little bit of extra maneuvering, but I was, I was also under pressure. It's snowing and I had two vehicles waiting for me there, getting impatient. I know, I know, I shouldn't let that get to me. That's my excuse. Okay, and I'm sticking with it. All right, so that was fun. 309. Let's head back to the yard. We're all tied down. Rocking and rolling. That adds up quick. And we got all day tomorrow yet, so we probably will get the foot that they uh, forecasted. Anybody coming? Nice and easy. Roads are gonna be getting a little slippery already. They're gonna get real slippery tonight once it gets cold or once it cools down for night. Roads are gonna be absolutely terrible. definitely want your lights on during this weather. Ah. The only part I don't like about this weather is that my hands and my feet get all wet. Like my hands aren't as bad. I can dry them off easily, but my feet get all soaking, soaking wet. And you can't just, you know, dry them off. But I can't take my shoes off in here. Every time I get in here, I get in and out and in and out all day. I guess I could, it would just eat up a lot of my time. It's hard to, and then my shoes would still be wet, right? So the next time I put my shoes, my, my feet in my shoes, you get it, you get it. It's the hardest part about it is keeping your feet warm in winter. But there are ways of doing that. Uh, wool socks are not always the answer. What you wanna do is you wanna wear a tight fitting sock underneath and then put wool socks on top of that. You don't want any loose fitting socks and then your shoes need to also be really well fit to your feet they need to be tight if your feet are loose inside your work shoes they're gonna get cold I think we've had our first collision of the day here already it wasn't me something's going on I was wondering why traffic was so bad now already this guy's just gonna push his way in isn't he I'm not even gonna give that guy the whole lane. Oh, he had a flat tire. Oh, he hit something. The front is all messed up. I'm pretty sure he could still drive it, unless if his radiator got a hole in it. I would at least get that thing off the road on the shoulder. Some people don't know that if you have a little fender bender and your vehicle can still move, uh, you gotta move it off the road. Get, on, get it on the shoulder. That is the official advice from the uh, police around here anyway. Get it off the road, otherwise you're creating more of a danger uh, backing up traffic, road hazard, you get it. You get it, I'm preaching to the choir, I know I should just shut up, but I have to remind people because some people don't know these things, so. Trying to make the roadways a better place. It's me again, the end of the vlog. Sorry I had to split that into two. Uh, it would have been like a 45 minute video and some of you don't have a problem with that, I understand, but uh, I like to keep them under 25 minutes, under 20 minutes if possible, 25 on the long end. But uh, thanks for tuning in anyways. Uh, it worked out for me because I didn't have a video to show you tomorrow or, or today. So it worked out that I got two out of yesterday. So. And I've been fiddling around with this new GoPro a little bit. The GoPro Hero 10 Black Edition. I really like it. I'm trying to figure out what settings are going to be best for me. I don't think I'm going to stick with the 4K. It's not working well with my computer like I like I told you. It takes a lot longer for me to edit because it's a lot larger of a file and my computer isn't exactly the fastest anymore I guess. And I need to update that. I will in the future but uh, I want to make sure that I get the one that I want. And uh, 
I think I'm gonna go back down to 2.7K. That's what I was filming with the other camera. It just seems to move a lot smoother. And at 60 frames per second instead of 120. I don't really need 120 frames per second, unless if maybe like for the road shots to get more of a smooth motion when I speed up the driving. Maybe then, but other than that, 60 frames per second is what I'm using right now in this clip. And You can still see me, right? It's not all blurry. 60 frames per second. See, it used to be that 30 frames per second was the standard. And then if I did that, you'd be able to see like my head sort of because it's only 30 frames in one second. 60 frames is usually pretty enough. Pretty good and pretty good enough. English. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll tune in tomorrow. I'm going to try to get more of the dogs and Brit in, of course, and uh, maybe we'll get another dog vlog in this weekend. We'll see. I really enjoy putting those together, and I, I think they really enjoy all the attention as well. Let's, let's go see. You want to see them? You want to see them? we got to include them. Hey, boys. Diesel. Chevy. Should we go outside? <laughs> yeah. I think that's a fantastic idea. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, what were you saying about outside? Can you guys sit? Sit? Yes, sir. Diesel? Can you sit? Yes, sure I can. Only if we go going outside. Guys, everybody's asking for more dog vlogs from you. They want more of you. You think we can do that? I think we could work something out for them. If you take me out right now, I'm kind of impatient, Dad. I know. I gotta go. I won't forget the little guys. We got Frankie right here in the shadows. Let's see if we got. We got to turn the lights on so people can see you, Frank. People want to see your magnificent face. One second. Okay. There you are. You're still in the shadows. Man, it gets dark early. It's only five o'clock. It's all dark outside already. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, there it is. And there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Commander Frank. Got any words? You know Remembrance Day was last week. You want to say anything about the wars you've been in? How about the Great Milkbone War? That was a bit. You keep talking about that. Now you're getting shy? I'll tell you a story for a belly rub. If you give me a belly rub, I'll give you a story. I was weak. I was weak. You don't get a story for that. You want to go outside? Yeah? All right. Well, guys, we're going to have to create more vlogs this weekend, I think. People want to see more of you. They like you. Where's the wiener? He's hiding in the room. He was sad that mama's gone. Of course. He's not in the room. He's over here. Wiener. Anything to say? You're in a dark little corner here, man. You want to go outside? Yeah? Chevy really does. Okay, I've been uh, bugging them long enough. Let's take them out. Let's finish up this video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.